And the day we have all longed for, opening Sunday of the NFL. For you as a player, what was it like when the season was about to get started? Man, it's the one time of the year, even maybe more than a Super Bowl, the butterflies are flying because you can't wait to see what's going to happen. The dawning of a new NFL season is upon us. Beasley's got it on the return. And the tackle is made. The offense will start their drive from about the 31. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. Gets the handle here. Randall's tackled down after a gain of seven. Jim, let's keep our eye on the defense. If they keep giving up runs like this, they're going to have to change what they're doing on the defensive side. Maybe bring another guy down in the box to stop those runs. Second down here after that run play. Takes it out of the eye. Randall's brought down after picking up only a yard. As we check now, this offensive unit getting it done for over a decade. Certainly a future Hall of Famer is tight end Jason Witten. Well, we hear it all the time from the Cowboys offensive staff. They say everybody underestimates how fast he is, how physical he is. And, of course, that's got to be true. How else would he be so good over 10 years? Third down and two. Gavin Eskimo. No one's going to get him now. The 20, the 10, taking it all the way home for the touchdown. What a way to start the year. The opening drive of the season for your football team. And what do you do? You march right down the field and score a touchdown. All that work in training camp. It all came to just... It, melded right together you made it happen exciting stuff and the extra point is good Beckham is going to start his return away from the ball there's a flag down on the field Boy, his head got yanked back the other way. An obvious face mask penalty, and that's a big one. It's about safety of the players, too. That's why when you grab, hit the helmet in certain situations, it's going to be a 15-yard penalty. Don't grab the face mask. Almost to the 40 at the 39-yard line. The Giants have it at the 39. And he's thrown to the ground. Well, if I was that quarterback, I'd be mad after getting sacked like that by the defensive end. Your offensive tackle just got to do a better job. Jennings lined up as the single back. The Giants take it from the 33. Victor Cruz has the catch. What's the old expression? Just move the chains. That's what they did with that throw and catch that time, Jim. It also gives them a chance for three more downs. First down on the way. Go draw. 
Giants offensive coordinator, he has to be frustrated by that play. I think he calls the right play, but what happens? The run loses yards. That's just a bad job at the offensive line. Loss of two on that play. Second and 12. And it's complete over to Cruz. And Cruz is marked down at the 27. Vic Cruz, the dancing wide receiver, Mr. Salsa himself. What a pair of hands. What a find by the New York Giants. Coming to the line at the 27. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. And Jennings got it on the handle. Can't find space, and this will be a loss of one on the play. Cowboys defense now is going to go nickel. Second and 11. Vereen takes it on the toss. Picks up about five. As we talk about the offense, Ruben Randall has gotten better every year in the league since coming out of LSU in 2012 as a second-round pick. This is going to be a breakout year for Ruben Randall. He's big, fast, and strong, as we talk about all the time. Those are great qualities, and he got better last year. Look out. Play number six coming up on this drive. Jennings lined up in a single-back formation. The Giants take it from the 23. Field goal attempt coming up. And converts on the three. And that field goal cuts into the early lead. They had to put something up on the board there, don't you think, Phil? Yeah, I do, Jim. I think what they said to the other team, hey, we are just starting this fight. This game, of course, is not over. And let's just keep it going. Josh Brown about to boot it down the field. He'll take it from the six. And he runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. First down at the 27. Pierre pulls all over that offense and brings him down. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it.
trying to beat the play clock. Tony Romo is going to take it from the shotgun. He will not get away. He's taken down for the sack. Well, I know this feeling. When a blitzer's coming, nobody's there to block him. There's nothing you can do as a quarterback, but try to protect yourself because you're going down. Third down after the sack. The Giants defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Romo stepping back into the shotgun. Looking long. Daz Brunt. And it's picked up by Rogers Cromarty. After falling behind early, they've got a chance now to turn the tide and maybe even take the lead. The old turn the tide. Let's turn it over and change things around. I love those, you know, phrases, Jim, or cliches, whatever you want to call them. But you're right. They can turn this game around. Go down there and score. An extra tight end on the field for this one. Three-step drop. A nice grab. No doubt he was going to hold on to that one. At the line of scrimmage, the 34. It's Manning out of the pistol. First down at the 34. Randall's the receiver on the screen. Taken down at the 33. This defensive lineup boasts one of the best defensive ends in the game in Greg Hardy. Greg Hardy is always in terrific shape. That's why he can hustle from the first play of the first quarter all the way to the last play of the game. Really good outside presence for Greg Hardy. Halfway through this first quarter now. Heaving it down the field. And it's incomplete. Well, the quarterback that time tried to squeeze it into tight coverage, but no can do. The coverage is too good. The football falls incomplete. The snap will come at the 33. The Giants come to the line. The first down marker is at the 24. Manning from the shotgun. Intercepted! He's brought down. They've already jumped in front here early, and now after the interception, they have a chance to even make the lead a little bit larger, Phil. Yeah, I like the way they're playing, don't you, Jim? It just looks fun. they got a lot of energy out there on both sides of the football. And this other team, they better be ready. I think they're in trouble. First down at the 22. hands the secondary is led by Prince of Mukamara former first round pick out of Nebraska before Mukamara got hurt last year he was playing very well what a jump just learning how to play the cornerback position he's got everything you need to be an outstanding cover guy speed can really change direction I think he's gonna have a great year
That leads us to second down. The play clock's running down. Randall's lined up directly behind the quarterback here. Dez Bryant on the receiving end. Mukamara's there to make the stop. Dez Bryant, nice catch by him. He can be as good as anybody in the National Football League. This play set up by the long gainer. Romo's back at it now, dropping back once again. The ball is taken out of his hands. Well, sometimes when you have a talented receiver, you just got to put up with plays like that. He might drop a few, but when he does catch it, it can make a big play. Failing to complete that one. So, second down here. Romo's lined up. Two tight ends set. Randall's hand at the football. Ellis is able to read that play and make the hit. Manage the football game. That's what you have to do as a quarterback. You're winning a close game in his third long. Well, manage it. Know what to do. Don't force the play here. If it's not there, throw it away and just punt the football. It's third down coming up. McFadden's lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. couldn't bring it in so many times when you drop a football in the NFL a pass like that it's because of lack of concentration you're just not serious about what you're doing and that punt is going out of bounds they are not going to allow them to return it the Giants back onto the field of course, the last drive they had it. It looked like they were going to put up some points only to watch the football get picked off in opponent's territory. Smart defensive coach they're going against in this game today. He knows how to put his players in positions to make plays, and he did that last drive, and they came up with the INT. Was that on the quarterback, or was that just a great play by the defender? I'm giving most of the credit to the defender. It's just a good play. The Giants all bunched up here as they get set at the line. First down at the 15. Marine out to the right. Second down and 10. The play is made by Beckham. Third down. The Cowboys defense now loading up expecting pass with a dime defense. Third and five. Manning's looking to go down the field here. 
this defense off to a terrific start. Well, they call third down the money down because you try to keep drives going. And right now, the defense has all the money because they're the ones getting it done. The Giants will punt the football. We'll see what he can do here. And they bring him down at the 44-yard line. And a run back of about six. The Cowboys stalled on their last drive, forced a punt. So now the offense comes back out onto the field. Yeah, they're coming back out. They lack confidence, and I understand why. They came out, couldn't get anything done. The defense was flying around, making the plays. Uh, they got to change the tempo of this game. First down at the 44. Randall's tackled down at the 50. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. That'll be second and four after the running play. Randall's tackled down at the 50. Coming to the line at the 50. Romo's setting up now in the pistol. When you see linebackers moving like this, you're trying to confuse the offensive line. <laughs> and so now they'll bring out Jones to punt. Beckham has got a chance this time. Gains five. The Giants' offense is on the field, hoping to erase the memory of their last drive, which was completely unproductive, a quick three and out. Yeah, it was. I don't know if they can erase this defense. This defense is pretty good. We saw that in the last drive, and they got good players, and they're pretty excited, so this is going to be tough on the offense. First down at the 16. Manning's on the move. Under, intercepted. A great play by the defense. And now an opportunity to make that lead a little more comfortable before heading to the second quarter, Phil. Yeah, you know what they're doing, Jim? They're giving the team confidence. And when you get confident on the football field, you play fast and loose, and that's when you're at your best. Here they come to the line at the 23. The Cowboys come to the line and they put their receivers in a bunch formation. Now first and ten. Randall's lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. The Cowboys take it from the 23. And a flag comes out. That penalty is, of course, going to be accepted by the defense. Following the penalty, it sets up second down 
and 19. They complete the pass, but still not enough for the first. Third down coming up. The Cowboys at the line of scrimmage. Split backfield. Romo's got it in the gun. To the sideline and complete. Good job by the defense. Uh, they're well taught, well schooled by the defensive coordinator. They know in situations like this, if it's thrown short of the first down marker, they're good. They come up, make the tackle. Now we have fourth down. Going to be a penalty here. Over aggressive, trying to block the kick, and that'll cost them big time. Well, you come out there on the field as a defense. The offense has great field position. You've got to give them something different. The defense did. They stopped them and they gave up the field goal. Breaking huddle at the 12-yard line. The Cowboys approach the line and they're going with their jumbo package. The penalty is declined. That last play will hold up. and 10. Throws the pass. And it's knocked down. Gets tight down here in the red zone. So if you're a defender, read the quarterback. You make a quick break on the football. Hey, you get in a position like this, you can knock it down. Second down following that incompletion. Randall's going to take the handoff now. That's a gain of only a yard. Randall's a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. This next play will take place at the 11. Third and nine. Touchdown. Late in the first quarter, and they're stretching their lead out. It looks like they have it in their minds to put this game away early. Well, that's what they're trying to do, isn't it? They just want to get it over with early. Just put all doubt, we just remove all doubt, I should say, from the opponents that you're in for a rough day, and you might as well just give up. The Cowboys setting up for the kickoff. Harris has got a chance for a return. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. 
The Giants are set to take the field again on offense after a crazy sequence that didn't go their way. That turnover led to turnover points. And now let's see if the offense can get that back, Phil. Yeah, listen, I know they're going to be motivated because after they turned the football over last time, the coaches took them to the sideline and just gave them heck. That's for sure. That's a good way of seeing it. So motivation. Can't make those kind of mistakes. You've got to go out there and be much better. The Giants take it from the 23. Looking middle that time. And it's incomplete. Well, your teammates are really going to respect you after something like this. Anytime you're on that field as an athlete, and when you give all your effort to every single play like that time, how about that? Just giving every bit of effort he can to make the catch. Not able to get it, but what a job in him. takes it from the gun and Cruz is got it and a first that's what you call a bullet pass very little space to throw the football into but he gets it done a lot of velocity right on target The Giants still possess the football as we begin the second quarter. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. It's caught by Vereen. Second down and 11. Going for the deep ball. Incomplete. Almost going in the other direction. Not much the offense can do in a situation like this. Third and long, what you probably will have to do is either surprise them with a the run or throw it short and hope somebody can make a play and pick up a first down. They face third down after the incomplete pass. Manning will take the snap from the shotgun. And they get the sack. we got to give that defensive front a lot of credit, man. They are pushing. They're getting after it. They know it's probably going to be a pass on third down. And they get back to the quarterback and take it down. So now they'll call on Weatherford to punt the football. offense coming back onto the field it was a good drive for them last time they had it all the way down to the end zone for the touchdown yeah you know in this game Jim it's all about momentum and when you feel you got the momentum on your side you got to take advantage of it so now I think it's up to the offensive coordinator to call the right play Darren McFadden lined up in the backfield they bring in the extra tight end. Romo to Bryant. Bryant's tackled down at the 45. The Cowboys are up right now, and credit goes to the quarterback here, partner. Romo's been in rhythm so far today. He has been in rhythm. He is hot. Some days, Jim, when you warm up, you know you have it, and that's what happened to this guy today. When he was warming up, he had it, and he has it in the game. 
the Cowboys will take the snap from the 45. McFadden's a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Double tight end formation. Romo connects with Williams. At the 31, here we go. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Takes it from the eye. And they are in on McFadden. This time for three. McFadden's never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. It's now second down and seven after the three-yard rush. Randall's in the backfield, single back set. Pass is intercepted. And he's brought to the ground. What a job by the linebacker that time making that interception. Gets in good position. What a pair of hands. A linebacker who could do it all. The Giants didn't get much out of that last drive, so now here they come again on offense. I'm sure they're going to be a little bit more of an urgency to the offense this time. Well, I'll just say this to you, Jim Nance. I sure hope so. After that last drive, that was just too generic. Wasn't very well thought out, and they got to change what they're doing on the offensive side. Got to give that defense a little credit, though, don't you? Well, yeah, the defense did its job, but yeah, that was pretty easy. Second and eight coming up. Manning's going to be in the pistol here. The Giants from the 22. Here's the handoff and no running. Jennings met after a gain of three. Jennings tried to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short gain. Still five yards short of a first after the run. Third down coming up. Manning's got two tight ends on the field for this snap. It's into the surefire hands of Odell Beckham Jr. First down and 10. And Jennings taking the handoff. The Giants take it from the 38. Sometimes on third and long from the defensive side, I like the fact that you can blitz. Send more guys than they can block. Make the quarterback throw the football quickly and short. 
Then it's all up to coming up and making the tackle. After the incomplete pass, it's third down. The Cowboys with two extra defensive backs in the dime. Manning from the shotgun. He'll throw it over the middle. And this pass goes incomplete as he was looking short that time. The Giants really don't have much of a chance of picking up this first down. It's third long. Of course, the defense is looking for passes down the field. They're all over everything, and the pass goes incomplete. That punt sets up the defense now in excellent position as they're able to down the football inside the 10. The Cowboys have to still be thinking about that last possession. They were actually moving down the field. And then, of course, the untimely interception ended things. Yeah, the defense, look, they got good players. And, you know, you give them enough chances, they're finally going to make the play. You have to be careful with the football. The offense was not, and that's why it resulted in an interception. What do you think they're talking about on that huddle after that drive-killing interception? They're, they're probably telling the quarterback, if you do that again, we're going to kick you out. I don't know, but they, they, they got to play better. Second down, and they must be careful at this point. Let's go. Wait, eight. Second and eight. Randall's going to secure the handoff. And that'll be a gain of about two. The Cowboys have the lead right now, but you would think to keep that lead, they'll want to lean on the running game a little bit more. Randall's been unable to shake free at any point. No, he has not been able to shake free. And listen, sometimes you just can't worry about it. You got to do whatever it takes to win. If he can't run it, then just keep throwing the football. Third down and trying to get out of here with their lives. McFadden solo back set. Third and seven. They go down with simultaneous possession. Let's see who comes away with it. And it's the offense. What a catch by the wideout. Play clock's running down. And intercepted! In stride, and he's hoping for the touchdown! You talking about getting your team full of emotion and getting everything on your side. How about that interception by the defense and then taking it back all the way for the score? The Giants heading back out there on offense, hoping to improve on their last possession, which ended rather quickly with a punt. Yeah, I think what they got to do, they got to come out and be a little more creative, get the defense off guard, make them think over there. That was too generic what they did on the offensive side. If you want to score, show some ingenuity. It's good. The Cowboys are ready to run back this kick. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. The Cowboys break cuddle and show a jumbo look. First down at the 24. Looking long. Oh, and almost picked off that time. 
I think that's the hardest pass a defensive back has to defend. The long throws down the field. You have to wait to the last second to make your play. That time the defensive back did it. What a play. Tony Romo will take it right from the center. The Cowboys have it at the 24. It's intercepted. Tackles made. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. The Giants bringing their offense onto the field. It wasn't a very productive possession for them last time out, partner. They ended up punting. Well, you know what it was? It was a good feeling out process. So they got some knowledge by watching the defense and what defenses they tried on them. So you've got to take advantage of that knowledge and come out here and make some plays. The Giants come out in a jumbo set. First down at the 28. He makes the catch. Carnes, the one who brings him to the ground. Manning selling this play big time. The defense, they go for the run fake, and that's why he has time to throw the football and makes the completion. Good job. The defense on its heels. Football sits at the five-yard line. So first and goal to go. Will go ground. And this won't even get back to the line. They'll end up losing one. Oh, my gosh. It is the worst thing you can do on the offensive side. This drives coaches crazy. When you get down near the goal line, you run the football and you lose yards. That's just not being tough enough. Stepping up to the line at the six-yard line. Second and goal from the six. And that'll probably go as a drop. Jim, I just want to say this to the quarterback. It's third and goal. If the play's not there, throw it away. Do not force the action. Third and goal at the six. Makes the grab. Touchdown. What a throw by the quarterback for a touchdown. It was just really nice. He threw it beautifully right on target. Touchdown. Looking across the middle. Nice job by the defense that time stopping a two-point conversion. It is so tough from the two-yard line. So many things to think about on the defensive side, but they were ready that time. He'll have a chance to take off. And he runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. The Cowboys offense back on the field trying to make up for that costly mistake the last time they had the ball. The turnover they committed immediately turned into points against them. Yeah, it did, Jim, but you know what? It's not a perfect game. You got to deal with adversity when you're talking about football. So you made that mistake. Let it go and go out there, be aggressive, and see if you can score some points. The Cowboys come to the line in a tight game here in the second quarter. The scores 16 to 14. The Cowboys from the 27. It's Randall out of the backfield who gets the pass. And here we have second down. The Giants lined up in the nickel. Ready. 
from the gun Romo. Witten's got the catch and the first. That's another reception giving him two. What we're seeing so many times now in this league is the tight ends are getting so good that they have to condense the pass coverage to make sure they stop them and it's opening up the wide receivers to have a better chance to catch the football. Robo's completion percentage 50 percent on the day. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. From the shotgun. And that reception goes to Des Bryant. Following that completion, second and short. The Giants with a nickel look here on defense. Romo's going to take it from the gun. And it's complete to Jason Witten. Witten's brought down after picking up 14 on the play. The Cowboys want to get their tight end involved early, and they have. Witten's been a focal point for this offense here in the first half. Anytime you have a tight end with talent, you want to get them involved in the passing game. You know why? Because it's a mismatch. They're going against linebackers, safeties, guys who are not as athletic as they are. Miles going to make the tackle. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. And now we reach the two-minute warning here in the second quarter. Heading to the line at the 22. Second and 11. Here's Bryant. Fights through contact. Bryant's brought down, but not until he gives his team a new set of downs. From the red zone. First and goal. Bryant's. What a catch. Touchdown. And that touchdown appears that it will secure them the halftime lead as the second quarter is winding down here. Well, they sure hope it does. There's nothing like going in at halftime with the lead. You just feel like all the hard work you put in the week, you, you put it to good use, and you want to keep that lead going in at halftime. The Giants prepared to return the kickoff. Beckham has got a chance to return this one. And the tackle is made right around the 26-yard line. The Giants' offense taking the field again. They got everything they could out of that last possession, Phil. A solid touchdown drive. Yeah, what a productive day so far for the offense. They're mixing it up well. They got confidence. The quarterback's throwing it well. This is a, a very good game so far. He'll stand back beyond the center in the gun. Sean Lee with the sack. Got to give the defense a lot of credit here. You want to stop the offense from scoring here with under two minutes to go in the first half. Good pressure on the quarterback, and they take him down behind the line of scrimmage. Should have had it. When it's third long on the offensive side, you have very few choices on how to pick up a first down. Call one of them and see if you get lucky and see if it works. That last pass incomplete, and it brings up third down. The Cowboys come out in a dime package. Set up screen to Marine. And he's 
going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Going for it on fourth down. Ryan Nason backing off the line. Shotgun formation. The Giants have it at the 24. What a catch by Odell Beckham Jr. The Giants turned the ball over on downs. That's his fifth catch of the day. The Cowboys heading back onto the field on offense. They scored on their last drive, Phil, and they did it with a blistering area of attack. Quarterback is hot. He is getting protected. Oh, man, what do you do now? I think if you're an offensive coordinator, it doesn't matter what you call. You know your guys are going to make it work. Randall's lined up as the single back. The Cowboys from the 32. And it's a catch by James Hanna. Nice job that time by the runner. Gets out of bounds after the play. You got under two minutes and you need to stop the clock, so he gets it done. Let's go now to Danielle Polini, who has the injury update. Guys, I just spoke with a Giants official. Eli Manning's injury is a minor one, so they'll just take one more look at him, and then he should return later in the game. Second down, three for the first. It's Witten. Tries to Dallas in the end zone. And that touchdown figures to have them in a very comfortable spot heading into the halftime break. Ooh, they are feeling good. There's no doubt about that. It's been a, a show of good offense here so far in the first half. And now what you got to do, halftime comes, you got to go in there and tell yourself to keep this going and keep the pressure on. He made it. The Cowboys ready to boot the football down the field. That'll be a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the 20. The Giants take the field here. Their last possession ended with a very crazy decision going for it on fourth down from their own territory. Uh, an unusual decision, to say the least. I don't know if it's unusual. We see this all the time from this guy. So it's 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 when you're going to learn. You know, I guess when you pile up enough losses, you'll finally say, hey, I want to win a game. I'm going to manage it differently. And in those situations, you should punt. Okay, if you were playing the game right now, what would you have done with that last possession? I absolutely would have done it without question. There are a lot of ways to attack cover, too. You could go deep down the middle where neither the safeties are, or if a linebacker covers somebody deep down the middle, then throw it short underneath the defense. Second and ten coming up. It's an empty backfield for Manning this time. Out of the shotgun formation. And it's swatted away. The defense has really done a good job here in this drive. They got this offense in a third and long situation. Let's see if they can convert it. Following that incompletion, it sets up third and ten. Manning's alone in the backfield. From the gun. Looking to go deep. What a catch. One-handed. 
the Giants are going to use one of the two timeouts they have remaining. What must it be like to be able to go down there and make a play like that? How about it? One handed catch. That was special. The line of scrimmage is the 38 yard line. After the long game, let's see what they do here. Eli Manning takes it from the gun. And there's Cruz. That's reception number four for him. Always try to save the timeout or timeouts when you can. And one way to do it is go to the hurry up offense. Good job. Cruz had it, but couldn't hold on as this goes incomplete. That's a wonderful job that time by the secondary. Everybody's in position. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football, and it leads to another incomplete pass. This is third down. Mannings all by himself in the backfield for this snap. He'll send it back to the quarterback out of the gun. This will be ruled incomplete. Didn't get the feet down. The Giants will second guess that play call. That time on third short, they throw the football. Everybody thought they were going to run it. They were trying to be too clever, and it backfired. Now it's fourth down. Giants will take the snap from the 30. The Giants turn the ball over on downs. The first half is complete. Larry Ridley is ready to take things over back in our studios. And you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Cowboys setting up here for the kickoff. The second half is officially underway. Beckham is going to test the coverage here. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24.